You ever just have a feeling like something is coming? But you don't, you don't really know what it is. What's up besties? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing some kinky straight clip-ins that I got from Amazon. Got two packs. I believe they were like $40 or $60 a piece. And they're 16 inch and I'm kind of scared because obviously my hair is um, longer than 16 inches. I'm really not looking to add length. I really want to add volume. I want it to, I know I have a lot of hair, my hair is thick, but I want it to be big, big, like scissor inspired big. So these are 16 inch clip ends. And this is how it comes in like just a regular hair bag. It comes with some extra clips. And I normally would wash these, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm starting a new series actually on TikTok. So if you follow me on TikTok, if you're not, this is my name. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I'm starting a new series, how I would style my hair for different celebrities concerts. And the first one, of course, that I'm doing is SZA because she's on tour right now. And I love her down. I'm just having fun. How I would style my hair for a SZA concert. So. If that's something that you guys are interested in or want to see, stay tuned. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So this is really just for fun. I've had these clippings sitting around for like two or three weeks now. So I want to get them installed. And it comes with eight clippings. So it really depends on the look that you're going for, how many um, packs you should order. It's about the same. I'm going to add a little bit. Just a little bit of length. Nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to just keep repeating this all the way up. I don't know if you guys watch my vlogs, but I applied to be a part of Sephora, Sephora Squad. I'm super excited and I've posted for you guys to leave like testimonials if I've ever anything I've ever posted has helped you guys in any way. I look so pale. Why am I so pale? But I posted um, the link for you guys to leave testimonials if anything I've ever posted has helped you, motivated you, inspired you in any type of way. Help you grow out. like. Um, I don't feel underqualified for anything that comes across my path. I just feel like there's nothing that I can't do. And if it's meant for me, it'll be mine. I'll get into it. And if it's not meant for me right now, then it's not God's timing. Everything is based off of God's timing. That's just how I look at things and how I um, keep myself from being like, super disappointed about certain things like you know so i would absolutely love if you guys could leave a testimonial that would really help push my application with them for to consider me um as someone who would be qualified like i said if i get in i'm going to be super freaking hyped I don't know that might actually look dumb i might actually take these clippings out other than just the sephora squad i really have a lot of great things going on behind the scenes that i haven't talked about yet like in my vlogs and stuff because i just want to make sure that everything is everything before i start blabbing my mouth and getting all excited about stuff i don't know like I, I posted a status on facebook and i was basically saying like i feel like god had me in like this waiting season where stuff just wasn't going right for me 
and when stuff was going right for me somehow i was self sabotaging and ruining it for myself but i feel like that season's over <laughs> i've healed i've went inside and done some serious work to see why do i not feel like worthy of the things that are happening for me like what is it girl what is, what's the big deal so i have been doing the work journaling healing becoming a better version of myself you know working out going to the gym taking my supplements which i think that's a that plays a huge part in everything and just creating discipline because without discipline you have absolutely nothing. That's my life experience anyways. Ever just have a feeling like something is coming? But you don't, you don't really know what it is, but you can just feel it. Like, I can't stop now. I have to keep going because it's happening for me. I can't see it, but I can feel it. Like, I can feel that something amazing is like, getting ready to happen for me even if it's not um, me getting into the safari squad which would probably absolutely totally change my life like what girl <laughs> it's so many brands like sephora that's hair care skincare everything that i love like everything that i love and i know i don't post a lot of content like doing my makeup and stuff like that but i'm getting ready to start i just ordered me a vanity well it's not a vanity but i'm gonna make it a vanity I'm, i feel like i'm finding myself when it comes to creating content i like what i like i post what i like you know things that is really truly genuinely me you know so it's exciting i'm excited i don't know the future feels hopeful so this is what we're working with right now it really just looks like my hair but like bigger which that's cool so i'm getting ready to actually start wand curling it because we all know scissor has a her hair is big that's why i wanted the clip-ins to add volume i didn't even use all of those clip-ins so this is what i'm using it's a um curler but i'm just gonna wrap it around because i like the size of the, the barrel on here but yes getting into sephora sephora squad would absolutely change my entire life the exposure the connections that I will be able to make with women and men that are interested in the same thing as me in the content creator space. I don't really like to say influencer because I don't want to influence anybody to do anything. If I influence you to do anything, I, I hope it's to become your best self. And that's just it. Like I'm not a, I'm not an influencer. I just um share the things that I have, the things that I have going on where I am in life, I share that with you guys and I hope it's an inspiration to you guys. I want to be an inspiration to you guys, not an influencer. That's the difference. I actually have a business accelerating meeting with Amazon tomorrow. Like what girl? I have a meeting with Amazon. <laughs> It's, it's a program that um, I think I applied for it last year. Because if you guys know, are familiar with me at all, I have my own business, hair care products, but I had to take a break from it. But I have a full video basically going over a while. I thought it was necessary to for me to take a break. I took a break and I this is, I think I, I uh, put my application in for it last year. And they just emailed me back, <laughs> I want to say Friday, to set up a meeting. I'm getting ready to do my relaunch. 
So it's like, everything is God's timing. That's one thing that I'm learning as I get older and as I'm embarking on the journey that I'm on right now. If it's not the right time, it's not going to happen. It don't matter what you have going on. If it's not the divine time for you to experience what it is that you're trying to do, it's not going to work. And I learned that. So I had to take a step back and literally, literally become a total different person. Now, I still have, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect, but I really had to do the work, like kill off my bad habits and replace them with habits that are going to get me to where I want to be in life. You know, like I used to be the type of person, I'm tired of being broke, but every weekend I'm out doing something, unnecessarily spending money. So it's like, girl, you're not tired of being broke that bad because you're not willing to make the necessary sacrifices in order for you not to be broke anymore you know so i don't know the last six months i feel like god had me in like a cocoon <laughs> i wasn't really like posting no content i was still posting a little bit but not as much as i was before because i was finding myself again like i had to really redefine who I am, you know? This is probably about to look so crazy because this thing is not heating up like I want it to. I honestly have to say that I am noticing a, like my growth a lot. And I'm super here, ah! Super here for it. And I'm just thankful that God just never took his hands off of me because, <laughs> oh, you know, on them church songs when they be like, I ain't even worthy. God has given me nothing but grace, okay? Nothing but grace. I'm about to hate this. It ain't, okay, well, that was kind of cute. I don't think it's going to last, though, like, at all. So this is our final look. I am pleased with how it turned out. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I'll take it. I actually did dress up this hairstyle as if I was going to a scissor concert. And you can see those pictures on my Instagram and I'll post that here. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to doing this again. You guys should let me know what celebrity I should do next. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really want to stay. I really want to go away.